United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'm Ian, and with us today are Ashley and Avery, with national news as well as an entertainment update. For joining us on today's show. It's Wednesday, January 12th, and we have a lot of news to get to today, including what Justin Bieber won't be appearing on this season. Well, but don't forget that it, you can get your updates on what's happening around Ocrest by following OHS Falcon TV on Twitter or visiting our website by typing in the web address at the bottom of the screen. All right, let's go back over to Ian, who's got the scoop on what's happening across the country. The Tostitos BCS National Championship game was played Monday night with the Auburn Tigers facing off against the Oregon Ducks. The teams were the first and second ranked in the country, and the game came down to the last two seconds and was determined by the leg of the Auburn kicker. The final score was 22-19, and the championship was won by the Auburn Tigers. The Tigers won only their second national championship 19, since 1957, but helped the second win their fifth, fifth straight championship. Heisman winning quarterback Cam Newton threw for 260 yards and two touchdowns and sent the Ducks packing for a long trip home. And in Rogers, Arkansas, a jokester or high school student wanting to get a snow day started a fake Twitter account that per perpetrated the fraud and Rogers school account and posted tweets saying the district was closed Monday. Rogers Public Schools person Ashley Sidwick released a statement Monday saying, please note that at Rogers School is a real Twitter account for the Rogers School District and at Rogers School is an impersonator. Sidwick said the district had filed a complaint with Twitter in hopes that the fake account will be disabled. She also said it's important for people to confirm social media posts with the school's official website because it is so easy to fake an account with a similar name. The fake account displays many tweets similar ones posted on the official account going back to February 10, 2010. Though the two accounts aren't identical in addition to the fake cancellation announcement posted Monday morning, Rogers schools were not closed Monday, though many Northwest Arkansas schools were, that are further to the south are closed since Sunday night. Northwest Arkansas is forecasted to receive up to two more inches of snow Monday afternoon late in that night. That's it for today's National News Report. Make sure you join me later in the show for more entertainment updates. Right now, let's take a look at some Oakcrest news. When it comes to talent, there's definitely no shortage of it here at Oakcrest. And if you want to see some of it, be sure you're here on Friday night at 7 p.m. for Cabaret Night. It's Oakcrest's annual showcase of musical talent and will feature over 20 acts here in the auditorium. So make sure you get a ticket at the door or ahead of time. The ASL Club is a new club meeting here at Oakcrest to recognize the hearing impaired and sign language community. They will be meeting on Tuesday and Thursdays in the room 406 on this Tuesday the 11th. And on the Thursday, the 20th, see Ms. Core for more information. My news, we started a revolution with our new anchor woman, keeping you up to date on all Ocrest news. Here's your hosts, Ron Burgundy. Don't act like you're not Seymour impressed. Butts. Okay, let's get started. Good morning, Ocrest. I'm Veronica Corningstone. Seymour Butts is on vacation. And I'm Seymour... I mean Ron Burgundy. Today, October 31st, is a very important day, not only here at Ocrest, but all across the nation. It's Halloween. Super duper! Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? I have just been handed an urgent news story. I need all of you to stop what you are doing and listen. You, or you and your friends. If you are wearing what we here like to call a jazzy getup, a costume of sorts, you will be judged together during your lunch periods today. This week is also very celebratory for Spanish Americans. For tomorrow and Thursday, November 1st and 2nd, is the thousand-year-old ritual of El Dia de los Muertos. Originating in Mexico, they named it El Dia de los Muertos, which of course means your mother's big foot. No, there's no way that's correct. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was just trying to impress you. I don't speak Spanish. Actually, I don't think any... 
For more new clubs here at Ocrest, Asian Awareness Organization will also be meeting on January 20th during the activity period in the library. The club is, me the club is meeting to embrace Asian culture and to experience delicious Asian food and to try different activities. Let's go over to Ian to find out what's happening in the world of the weird and wacky. Thanks, Avery. In the world of weird and wacky, we head over to Boston, Ohio, where parents of students in Scioto County School District were notified on Friday that their children's lunches may have contained bull weevil beetles. New Boston local schools said some lunches served on Thursday may have contained the bugs after they were found in a bag of noodles. 10 TV News reported, the new Boston superintendent said a cook found the bugs in the noodles and alerted the lunch supervisor who strained the bugs from the noodles and then cooked and served them to the students over mashed potatoes. The lunches were served in all three of the district schools. The district's food services director resigned and two food service workers were placed on unpaid leave, the superintendent said. The skill news update for today. Join me tomorrow for more. Now let's head back over to the other anchors for more news. Don't forget you can get a birthday grant from your best friend or yourself for only a dollar from the media studio. So stop now to get your name on TV today. Hey Okras, I've got the inside scoop on the entertainment world and what you need to know about your favorite celebs and what's happening in the world of entertainment. Today we're talking about what's hot on TV and in theaters. Justin Bieber fans are probably singing the blues now that Glee creator Ryan Murphy has denied rumors of upcoming Bieber-based episode. The hit Fox series has planned to do it, a tribute to the teen idol on its February 15th show, with the cast singing several of the pop star songs. Glee is not doing a Justin Bieber tribute episode. He says, we are doing an episode where Sam sings a Bieber song to win Quinn back and copies his hairstyle, etc. But Murphy's cautions it's a small part of the big episode that has a lot of other things going on. What's more, there will be fewer Glee tribute episodes in the future. We are not doing any more of those seasons, says Murphy. Those are reserved for artists with a big catalog, a la Madonna and Britney. The fascination with 3D continues as Boz Lerman considers using the technology to update a classic. The director has workshopped his upcoming project, The Great Gatsby, in the format, but has not decided if the film will be in 3D. He made the com comments during a panel discussion held last week's Consumer Electronics Show where he joined fellow directors Oliver Stone and Michael Mann in discussing the advantages of the Blu-ray format. The power of Blu-ray is so great that you have to be a bit conscious about misusing it. Using it. Lerman said, during the panel discussions, the group showed Blu-ray clips from Lerman's acclaimed films, Moulin Rouge and Romeo and Juliet, Stone's Wall Street and the sequel, Wall Street, Money Never Sleeps, as well as Man's The Last of the Mohicans. Well, that was your entertainment update for Friday. All right, let's head back over to the other anchors for the rest of today's news. Thanks for the update, Ian. Well, that's it for today's show. Don't forget, if you missed anything on today's or past episodes, or if you want to see the newest videos we have, visit us back on YouTube for more. And be sure to leave comments on our show or leave story ideas for us at talonproductions at yahoo.com. I'm Ashley, and for Avery, Ian, and everyone here on the Falcon TV News team, thanks for watching today on our show. Join us back here tomorrow to get all of the day's top stories from Ocrest and around the world on the News at 9 on Falcon TV. Have a great day.